हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज डॉक्टर पराग लाड आई एम अ हैंड सर्जन प्रैक्टिसिंग इन थाने आई एम कंसल्टेंट एंड डायरेक्टर एट पिनेकल ऑर्थो सेंटर एंड आई एम कंसल्टेंट एट जुपिटर हॉस्पिटल वर्किंग एज अ हैंड सर्जन टुडे माय टॉपिक इज टू डिस्कस चैलेंजेस इन पीडियाट्रिक फिंगर टिप इंजरीज सो द एक्चुअल चैलेंजेस आर द प्रॉब्लम्स विद द नेल ग्रोथ एज शोन इन द पिक्चर then the problem with the pulp contour then the deformity once everything heals and sometimes the survival of the fingertip when we see some major crush injuries at the fingertip we have a dilemma whether to save that fingertip or sacrifice it and once it heals how will be the function so the myth is all fingertip injuries in children they heal uneventfully by regular dressing that is really a myth yes all the fingertips may survive after the injury in children but they may not have the same cosmetic appearance or the same function once they heal so these injuries have to be dealt very very properly so i would like to explain what is the exact definition of a fingertip so this picture is obtained from google the exact definition of the fingertip means the part distal to the insertion of the extensor tendon and flexor digitorum profundus tendon anything distal to those these two tendinous insertion is called as fingertip okay so distal to this is called as fingertip now what are the exact indication to salvage fingertip injury number 1 is if we see the child and who has intact fdp function flexor digitorum profundus function is intact if the distal phalanx length of the bone on x ray is well maintained and if the germinal matrix of the nail bed is intact then whatever the fingertip injury is we should attempt to salvage it because if the germinal matrix is intact the nail growth is going to be proper and the cosmetic appearance of the fingertip will be good if the distal phalanx length is well maintained then the length of the entire digit will be looking cosmetically good and if the fdp function is intact means the child or patient is going to have flexion at distal interphalangeal joint so let us understand the injury analysis in this child the middle finger and ring finger tip has been amputated what we are seeing in the middle finger is the nail mat germinal matrix of the nail is intact but the sterile in ring finger even the sterile matrix of the nail is also intact and the pulp is vascular so the message i would like to give here is whenever these injuries come to casualty or during the operation theater please we have to be very very careful in opening the dressing in the first at the first sight if you be very harsh and if you do not wet the previous dressing and try to remove the dry dressings there is a possibility you may avulge the fingertip completely which is partially injured or you may damage the pulp vascular vascularity of the fingertip so first of all you have to make the dressing wet and then open it second is avoid excessive scrubbing before the operation these injuries just require very gentle painting with between 10% of the betadine povidin iodine solution do direct painting before surgery do not do any scrubbing as we do for any other orthopedic or surgical plastic surgery procedures and in these injuries try to take minimum stitches on the pulp and do maximum stitches on the nail bed so the same injury we have done a nail bed repair and we have taken few stitches on the pulp so the important another message is even if the nail plate is avulsed or partially ruptured whatever nail plate is available try to keep that in between the eponychial fold 
and the germinal matrix of the nail bed as shown in this fingertip. Okay, the picture in the middle. There is a reason that if you do not keep any nail plate in the eponychial fold, there is a possibility of sinicae formation. I will show that in the subsequent picture. Now, whenever you see a pulp injury, you have to be very careful and explain the parents that after suturing, the vascularity of the pulp may become risky and there must be, we may, we may find sometimes venous congestion and very rarely we may have to lose the pulp and the child may require any other procedure like full thickness skin grafting, etc. So the picture below on the right side, the right uh, middle finger shows intactness of the matrix or the nail bed and the picture in the ring finger shows complete nail bed is avulsed from the distal phalanx. These injuries are very, very difficult to treat. So the middle finger shows sterile matrix injury and the ring finger shows germinal matrix injury. They have to be sutured very properly under loop magnification or a microscope. Now let us understand what are the anatomical patterns of this injury. The picture on the left shows dorsal unfavorable amputation. It means the dorsally the nail apparatus is gone, but the pulp of the finger is intact. If the pulp of the finger is intact, you can take a local flap from the same pulp and do a VY advancement flap. Picture in the middle, it shows a volar unfavorable injury where the dorsum of the uh, middle finger uh, dorsum of the middle finger is completely intact but the volar part is uh, completely gone so here there is a exposure of uh, distal phalanx as well as flexor digitorum profundus insertion so we have to do a flap cover either a cross finger flap or a thinner flap so volar unfavorable amputation usually do not receive well a vy flap Okay, And last is right picture on the right is mixed pattern injury where there is a circumferential injury to the fingertip. You have to be very careful in treating them. Now, let us understand these injuries. Uh, avulsion from the nail bed and what we are seeing picture in the middle is a sterile matrix nail bed injury. The pulp is somehow intact. And now what I am so showing in this video is how do we repair a germinal matrix to end to end with distal portion. Like the suturing of the nail bed is shown in this video and it has to be done with the very fine suture material, either a 5-0 chromic catgut or a 6-0 chromic catgut or 5-0 monocryl or something that is absorbable. Okay, so this is how we repair a germinal matrix. Okay, and then the picture on the right, it shows complete repair. Then this is another thing that I want to explain. Once you repair the germinal matrix, see how we put the nail plate in between the eponychial fold as well as at the site of repaired nail bed. And if we don't put this, you see the picture on the right that the skin fold gets stuck to the nail bed and you sometimes notice that there is a new nail does not come it becomes it becomes a sinicae formation okay it becomes a sinicae formation so the moment you put a nail plate just take a stack suture to fix it and there is a possibility that this nail will fall down or sometime it will just get stuck to the parent bed and uh, you know the new nail growth will come easily. So this is called sinicae formation. If you do not have any nail plate to keep, then sometimes we recommend to use a uh, aluminium foil, you know, which is which we open for suture material like three zero ethylon or any suture material that we have. We can use that aluminium foil, but you have to put something in between the eponychial fold of the skin and nail bed. Now this patient had a sinicae formation and he could not have a new nail growth. So one more case where double fingertip injury, most common etiology is door crush injuries where there is a complete amputation of the fingertip. 
if the age of the child is less than three year old and if the child comes very early after injury, then there is a procedure something called composite tissue graft. You can use the same fingertip and put it and just suture it. There is very high chance that it will survive. But if this doesn't survive, this picture is like a transverse amputation of the fingertip and usually it requires VY advancement flap. Now, this is the VY flap that has been marked and we raise the pulp of the flap and suture it to the nail bed on the dorsum of the fingertip. This is how we suture and see this the picture on the left side where the ring finger nail bed was absent. So, we have taken a nail bed, nail, uh, bed from the amputated finger and sutured it there on the with the germinal matrix and then did a VY flap. You see how beautifully they will heal. Okay, This is how the VY flap was done. This is how the nail bed grafting from the amputated part was done for ring finger. And this is the proper nail growth. And you know the pulp of the finger is also well cosmetically healed. And you can see a new nail growth is also in proper. Because we have repaired the germinal matrix from the amputated fingertip. Sometimes you notice an oblique amputation where the pulp is intact. Only the dorsal part of the finger is cut obliquely. In those cases, we may have to do uh, something called an oblique triangular flap and suture the, you know, cover the distal phalanx as well at the fingertip by raising the flap and suturing it to the nail bed. Now, these are one of the rare instances like two-year-old child with the door crush injury and it was a two months post injury and, you know, the parents had a hope that it will heal by natural recovery. And it was just not healing. And he came to us like this. Actually, he came for another reason. But the family, he came for with his siblings, with parents. And the parent just asked, you know, is anything possible to do this? So, I analyzed this injury and I thought the pulp has healed in a mal position. If you just debride properly and reposition the pulp back, you know, the fingertip can be saved. So, this is how after debriding the black necrotic portion, and then we release the tourniquet, assess the vascularity and just repair the pulp back. And the child had a beautiful, cosmetically looking good finger. The, this one more example that I would like to give, like a 12-year-old child with a cricket ball injury. What we notice in this x-ray, mostly the anterior posterior view of the hand x-ray, it does not show any much significant abnormality. But if you see the oblique x-ray of the index finger here as shown in the middle picture, what we are seeing, there is a fascial injury. There is a growth plate injury. The distal phalanx is, you know, having fracture at the growth plate. And the picture on the right or clinical picture shows nail plate avulsion. These type of injuries are called Seymour fractures. And if you take proper x-ray, you see the growth plate avulsion. I mean, you know, the there is a complete dislocation or subluxation at the fracture site and this is called Seymour fracture. I would like to show a surgical step to treat this. So, first step, you just remove under digital block or a general anesthesia because sometimes the child are ch children are scared. So, first we remove the nail. Once you remove the nail plate, now with the help of eponychial fold, okay, uh, we take an incision to expose the germinal matrix of the fingertip because we have to, it is the, in because of the fracture, the nail bed is lacerated. The germinal matrix is completely ruptured. Now, if you see this, once I have exposed the eponychial fold, now I am trying to reduce the fracture and it will immediately get reduced just by pushing it down. And now after that, I will just repair two ends of the ruptured nail bed with the absorbable suture material. I would like to play this video again. See now. So once we have exposed the germinal matrix, which was found ruptured, I am just pressing the distal phalanx inside. And now I am going to take sutures on either side for the nail bed. Once you do that, so this is how we take sutures. The nail bed is repaired after reduction of the fracture. You see the lateral x-ray. These fractures do not require any K-wiring or any stabilization. Uh, mostly, if you repair the nail bed very properly, 
I have used Chromi Cat Gut 6.0 in this case, and they, they usually have better functional result. So this is how post-op. Once we repair the eponychal fold with suturing, and again we put the nail plate back in you know place to prevent synechia formation. So to conclude, first message is whenever you see a patient or whenever you are preparing a patient for surgery, avoid scrubbing of pediatric fingertips. You are you will definitely cause more harm. If the germinal matrix is injured, you have to do a proper nail bed repair under loop magnification because that decides the future growth of the nail bed. Then avoid too many sutures on the pulp because pulp is a very vascular sensitive structure. If you take too many sutures, the pulp may have necrosis. And if the bone is exposed, then you have to do a flap. Whenever you see, I have shown you now a volar unfavorable amputation, oblique amputation, sometimes transverse amputation. If there is a bone exposed, distal phalanx is exposed, you have to do a flap cover. And the last and but the not the least is keep the nail plate in between the nail bed and eponychial skin fold because that is very important to prevent synechia formation as well as to get the new nail growth. Thank you so much. Thank you for your patient hearing. I am Dr. Parag Lad. If you have liked this video, please put the like button on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.